They don't look terrible. Boss them. All right, we are on the way to the campsite for tonight. I picked up cilantro for the tacos and a little bit of beer for myself. That's it. That's January 4th of 20. Okay, I think we're gonna be taking a little bit of a gamble. Taking the mini, mini coop down this because it is just slippery. We got winter tires on and this has been plowed down before. I really did not think the snow is gonna be this high. Okay, we just got to camp. I was really worried getting in here. I think there was a split second where I almost just turned around because getting down was so slippery and the ground clearance is just so low, but I actually had no issues. It was probably just the perfect amount to let me get through. So it's good. I'm happy we're here. We're at a different campsite than normal. I think what I'm gonna do is get the bed set up, then get a fire set up, then get dinner set up. Last time I was here, I forgot a pillow, so I ordered a travel pillow. One nice thing right now, too, is there was a bit of wind, so I was worried it was going to be a little bit colder than it is, but it's, it's not that bad just because we're isolated by these trees. These beautiful coniferous trees. It's supposed to get down to minus three shortly. Probably about minus one, minus two right now. Crazy. See, look at that. Yes, this is a pretty ghetto fire. I would be absolutely lying to you right now if I said after not seeing any paper, I would be having a fire right now. I mean, I'd figure it out, but like, stupid. Fire start is important. And you know, knowing how to do things like this is important too. I know it's such a basic thing, but like knowing to use bark would have been bad if I didn't know, you know? Since we have a fire, it's almost cooking time. And the sun's about to go down here. It's pretty much down. I'm going to turn that off for now. Whoa, I don't... Not really too much shit for this pan. Oh, no. Turned off all the lights to, like, kind of enjoy the fire, and it's really nice. So we got these handmade corn tortillas from a local maker here in Winnipeg. I was at a farmer's market and they had them. They have a specific way to make them. So we're gonna make them in that specific way and hopefully they turn out good. It's just gonna be tortilla and taco. Okay, these are done. I cut them up a little bit with a butter knife. Cilantro. See, first you flip them like that. 15 seconds, they say to flip that like that to keep the moisture in. And then flip them like that. They're getting a little too hot. Those are the tacos. They don't look terrible. They look pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna lie, I've never made tacos like this and I'm pretty happy with them. The pork's good, very good, actually. Let's do a whole one. I overcooked the corn tortillas a bit. I think they're already starting to get a little stale as well. They're made for freshness. Awesome. I wish there was a way to get the pork a little bit more tender. I think it's the cut of pork that I used, so I can't totally blame the pork. Oh, fuck, that's good. I found some big pieces of wood that were left here by whoever was here last. Very nice people to leave wood. Look, it looked like Mike Jones was there a little early. Gonna be over the top, up here high. Bombers are going to the Grey Cup. To do so. Ha, ha, ha. 
Ooga, ooga, ooga. You watched my last video. This is the campsite I was at last time. I left some wood here, so let's let's go see if there's wood still here. If anybody. Those paw prints at all. I got no idea what that is. Hey, we got wood for the day. I can't tell if anybody's been here since I've been here. So I'm gonna finish up my coffee, finish up the last little bit of the firewood, pack up the car, and then I'm gonna head off to look at different hunting spots in the area. There are a couple different spots that I saw last time we were here. I think they may be fruitful. So I'm gonna see how many people are in the area, what's it gonna be like, where are we gonna to wanna to set up, and then we're gonna head home. You will not guess what just happened to me. I just lost my drone. So I'm sitting here and I'm trying to see if there's a clearing over here and these hunters start talking to me. I'm, I'm actually, I'm way down here. Like I'm down here a lot. So I put the remote down and I put it like this while the drone was in the air and just not even thinking about it. And then I look up and it's just crashed in the middle of nowhere. And I'm like, it's in the, it could be anywhere. It could have flown anywhere. So I'm trying to find it on the map. Map doesn't work. It's just this blank screen. And then I see it has start flashing and beeping. I'm like, hey, well, so I hit this. <laughs> And the drone started beeping and now I have my drone. I just like hiked through the bush to find it. I was just like, there's no way I just lost $1,700 worth of drone. So happy right now. I could just listen to that noise for days. Such a perfect ending to this little trip. See you next time.